finishing up a day of travels with the Stevensons. A wonderful visit with the Bridges family there. I tell you what, the beautiful home and beautiful people. It was a pleasure to be there and sing for them. And of course to sing for Kim Moser, Dr. Moser's wife, and uh, Dr. Poor's daughter. It's great to be there with them and, and I enjoyed myself immensely. I have to admit I'm a little tired and weak going home to be with Miss June. I'm going over to Mar to move my brother. Todd is going to move him, Gerald, out of uh, the Baptist Village there, Village Care Center. Move him out to uh, a beautiful place uh, where uh, he can get good care and still be able to see his wife Dorothy and um, out to uh, Colonial uh, Gardens in Florence, Kentucky. And, uh, and we pray that all will go well there. Todd's got his place picked up, fixed up real nice, got him a new chair to sit in, and uh, Franny and, and uh, the rest of them really worked hard to fix it up nice. Beautiful place for him to go to tomorrow, so all he has to do tomorrow is pick him up and take him out there, and then I'll come out and visit some tomorrow afternoon after we uh, meet with uh, Stacy and Gage, our goddaughter, and his son, her son, and give them his presence at, uh, for graduation and and enjoy the, the lunch with them. And I'll get some rest tonight, praise the Lord, and pass the ammunition of godly principles. And uh, look forward to uh, campaigning for Kim Mosier for state representative re-election and all the other wonderful folks that were there. And let's keep up the spirit, keep up the good works, and remember uh, the Lord has blessed us here in America and blessed us in Kentucky in many, many ways. We thank him for it. Look forward to getting home to Miss June tonight, relaxing, and uh, get my medicine all taken care of and, and hit the sack after we maybe watch a Midsummer Murder. I always like those shows there. And, uh, and then we listen to a little bit of WIOK 107.5 FM on the radio dial with Gil Hammond and Janet Hammond. A lot of good sermons to listen to. Uplifting sermons. And uh, look forward to, uh, I think it's Saturday maybe, that the guys are having a cookout over at that Bethesda Community Church. And um, maybe at the pastor's house. I might sneak over there and say hello to those guys and uh, enjoy my visit with them Saturday. They've invited us over. Uh, well, I invited me over. It's a men's thing. The ladies are all gone on some kind of retreat or something like that. So Miss June has suggested it might be a good idea if I dropped over. And I uh, think maybe I might do that. We'll see how I feel tomorrow. But anyway, driving by Independence here, Dietersville, and uh, the, uh, we say I always say hello to my old friend Charlie Dieters and Eric Dieters and Jerry Dieters, all the Dieter boys. And uh, grew up with them over there in Wolf Road and Taylor Mill. And uh, a lot of good folks. And, of course, uh, the Luzader family, Donna and Phil Westrick over there, where we have a Bible study group. Wonderful folks. And headed down here to McCollum Pike. And uh, they uh, looking forward to the visiting there and uh, having a cup of coffee tonight. And... And uh, this weekend, uh, I think is the weekend, now I might be wrong, but I think this is the weekend that is our 33rd year when we met with each other, Miss June and I did. And uh, no, maybe it's next weekend. Come to think of it, it's, I think it's the 20, 27th, or 28th, and uh, 1985 of July. When we met each other at the Charlie McKeever's restaurant. And I walked out the door. Our eyes caught each other. And the Lord told her right then, so there goes your husband out the door. <laughs> well, four years later, I was. It took me about four years to talk her into it. Actually, the Lord talked her into it. So, then we took off on our honeymoon through Europe, eight countries, 
filmed it all and put it on television so everybody could see it. Well, praise the Lord, pass the ammunition. I'm getting ready to turn on to McCollum Pike here. Head up to 38 McCollum. Little uh, homestead there. So, see you later, folks. Travels with the Stevensons. And uh, say a prayer for all the people back there at the political gathering. Uh, you make they get home safe and that they all work hard for Kim Mosier and the campaign and work for hard for godly principles. Signing out now, John Stevenson, 859-750-0000, uh, or join us on Facebook under John Stevenson or John A. Stevenson. i got two Facebook pages. And join us on YouTube, Travels with the Stevensons, Dr. John Stevenson, former superintendent of education, Commonwealth of Kentucky. Praise the Lord and pass the ammunition of godly principles. Support that team of Donald Trump and Mike Pence and pass the word. We're going to make America great again, and we're going to keep America great again. Bye now. Oof. Packing up here, down here by the old courthouse here. Right there, sitting in there, is Zacchaeus the cat, Queenie, Queen Elizabeth, and uh, Josephine is in there, and Miss June. Now back there's about mother grand, mother uh, ground or there's a big old groundhog out back there, and uh, I think the probably back there is about five raccoons too, and a few mice I'm sure, but and lots of birds. This is a sanctuary, after all. Praise the Lord. Catch you later, folks. I'm home.